Hey friends, it's Heather. I have another layout to share with you for my creative scrapbook. And unfortunately, this is my last layout for um, my creative scrapbook. My term was for a year and I mentioned in previous videos that this is the last kit that I'd be working with. And this is the last video I will post for this kit. So I am a little sad, but I needed to step down and focus on some other things. I will still be posting and creating videos and obviously creating layouts, just not for my creative scrapbook. So the layout, I am using a photo of my daughter Christmas morning. It was actually from a couple of years ago and um, it's been sitting in my photo box for some time. It's just one of my favorite photos. She's in her cute little nightgown holding her stocking, which is um, a photo I like to take every year um, of her holding her stocking before and after Santa comes, of course. <laughs> this is the after photo. Um, and I am using a, a cut file from... Um, my creative scrapbook offered this month and it is of dangling ornaments and you saw me do something similar to this in one of my previous layouts where I sort of did patchwork trees while well, I had all these scraps and I just I thought it would be really cute if I did the same thing for the ornament so um, I'm hoping though that they look um, different enough that doesn't look like I just copied the other layout, <laughs> but um, I did all different stripes and I took a little bit of time trying to, um, I don't know, create ornaments that I would like to put on my tree. They had so many pretty plaids in this collection and I just, I love the pattern paper. So what I did was start with the, um, the cutout parts um, that the leftover parts from the silhouette and I added some adhesive with my tape runner and then just started adding strips. Did I say stripes or strips? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, um, so I am just using those um, offcuts as a template and this took me a little bit too much time. I spent a little too much time trying to create my ornaments, but I really like the way that it turned out. Um, I actually thought that I might um, hand stitch around these, but I didn't make it that far. So, um, and then I thought I would just leave it white, but, um, yeah, there's a boo-boo. So as I was <laughs> adding my strips of paper, I didn't realize that um, I should have added them or added the first one while it was in my ornament in the cut file, but I didn't, so they were all crooked. And I didn't want them all to be diagonal, so I had to tear it off and start again. But it was fine, it worked out. Okay, so I am just recreating my first ornament there and I cut the cut file out of white cardstock from my stash and I am using one of the uh, pattern papers from the kit as my background, that blue color, which is really pretty. It matches my daughter's nightgown. So that's why I'm, I mean, obviously I'm mixing in all of the colors of the kit, but uh, there's a lot of red and blue just because that's what's in my photo and uh, the photo was a perfect size to fit in that middle ornament um, which um, when I saw this cut file that that's the idea that popped into my head so I once I spent all the time creating all my little ornaments I decided that it was just too white and I wanted to add some sparkles so I'm taking some of my shimmers which is that is minor minor 49er I think that's what that's called it is really pretty gold shimmery paint and yeah minor minor 49er and it comes hard in the little pot and 
uh, you just add some water to it. So while that is drying, uh, before I add my uh, ornaments in there, I really wanted to add some little gold details now that there was gold on the cut file. So I'm taking my Versamark pen and just drawing some stuff. Um, uh, kind of like you see plaid, you know, you'll see some, some gold glitter or something in there. So I add some dots and some lines and I am going to heat emboss with my gold tinsel ranger embossing powder. That is from my stash. This is one of my favorite, favorite, favorite embossing powders because it is the perfect gold and it's glittery and I love it. And I just have this little tiny pot. It's not, it's a really small size, but it goes a long way, especially when you're just doing lines and, and little doodles like this. So I um, just add some designs on all of my little ornaments and I think it was super cute. And um, some of it doesn't come out right the first time. So once you in heat emboss it, you can't go back with this pen and add a little bit more, which I had to do a couple of times. Uh, it's hard to see the Versamark pen on pattern or colored cardstock sometimes. Um, and I just have that um, Perfect Pearls brush. I got that in a kit with Perfect perfect pearls a long time ago and I use that just for things like this like perfect pearls or embossing powder keep it clean I don't use it with any mediums or paint um, so I can keep it nice and clean for stuff like this so uh, I am just heat embossing some of my little custom designs on my custom ornaments um, and I really like the way that this turns out uh, I wish I did a lot more heat embossing. I love watching the embossing powder melt. <laughs> Do you guys like watching that? I don't know why. There's just so, there's just something about watching it all melt. It's like magic. And especially when it turns into this glittery gold goodness, which is perfect for Christmas. So I am, um, Yep, I'm adding some more. <laughs> Those are the little, um, I don't know what you would call them, the little parts on the ornament that that you hang on the tree, I guess. I decided that I wanted to add some gold embossing. Pair. Well, I'm not using the glitter. I'm using antique gold there. So it's a metallic gold. Um, I could have used the gold glitter, but I thought this might be a little bit more realistic. So... Um, it didn't turn out perfect and I had to go back over some of the spaces again, but uh, I like all the different textures and the colors with the gold uh, watercolor and the embossing powder. So there off screen, I added some twine and ribbon because it took me a really long time. Um, I should have tied in some of those twine pieces before I glued it down, but I didn't. And, um... So I struggled a little bit. So I, some of them I just added some bows and I really like the way that it turns out. It's definitely gonna be a thick layout <laughs> in the page protector. So now just to add some embellishments, I am using the sticker sheet to add some of the cute little stickers on my ornaments. Um, I also added some ribbon from my stash. There's some rickrack ribbon on a couple of them and some sequin. Um, trim that I added just for some more sparkly goodness um, and just adding some little word stickers here and there and my title um, I end up using one of the large uh, word stickers on this sticker sheet as my title and pretty sure it says believe um, I was trying to work in some more of those um, sentiment stickers, but I didn't want to cover up <laughs> all of my pretty ornaments. So I'd love to know what you think about this layout. Um, and any likes or comments, I always appreciate it so much. And I hope everyone is enjoying their holiday season. Um, again, this is going to be my last layout for a little bit. I'm going to enjoy the holidays with my family and then come January, I'll be back in full swing. I have some ideas 
on some new videos I want to try. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, what are you guys looking forward to? Um, do you guys make your own ornaments? I've heard a lot of people actually make their own ornaments every year with their family. Um, we do some holiday crafts, like those little boxes you can get from Michael's. We still do those every year. I have a huge box <laughs> of the ones we've made since my daughter was born. Um, but I, I don't know that I actually make ornaments. I have made some, but not um, annually. So I'm curious. Well, I like how my ornaments on this page came together. There is my title. I'm inking the edges with some Distress Oxide ink. That is it. These are the still shots. I hope you enjoyed watching and got some inspiration. There's lots of glittery, sparkly goodness on this layout, but I love how it turned out. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And if you haven't subscribed already, please do. Happy holidays. Bye-bye.